It's time to get ready for school. Morning, Dear, are you feeling okay? Yeah, just really cold. All right, then. What's wrong? Are you sick? No, I'm just not really hungry. I have a killer headache. I think you need me to stay home from school today. Okay. It's just allergies. My name is Zach, and today we are going to be talking about the symptoms of COVID-19. What is the purpose of this presentation, you may be asking? Well, hybrid learning is going to be starting soon, on October 19th. And we all know what that means. A lot of new rules in a new weird environment. We are taking all the precautions to help get us back to school. But as once said in a fictional movie about resurrecting dinosaurs, life finds a way. In case life finds a way to sneaky sneak the coronavirus into Pooter, you can use the unlimited knowledge this presentation grants you to understand its symptoms and know when to stay home. COVID-19 is a new respiratory infection that has grown to pandemic status across the entire world since its discovery in December 2019. While many symptoms of COVID-19 are shared with other respiratory infections, they should not be ignored if experienced. If you have symptoms but think you don't have COVID-19, you shouldn't go to school. Other causes of the general symptoms, fever, coughs, etc., can weaken the body to COVID-19 if it is caught. If one of your family members is diagnosed, you shouldn't go to school either, even if you don't have symptoms yourself. COVID-19 can sometimes be living inside one's body, yet not affect the host with symptoms. This person is called a healthy host, and their condition is known as asymptomatic. This can happen to everyone, so if someone you were close to has COVID-19, you might want to consider staying home. Fevers are commonly associated with infections, and COVID-19 is no exception. Fevers are defined as being above a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't get cold feet over asking to stay home. If you have symptoms, tell somebody. Everyone's had a cough before, and they're very common with respiratory infections like COVID-19. Coughs and sneezing are one way the body attempts to eject harmful germs. So stay home so your body can yeet the bad vibes away. Shortness of breath can sometimes feel like a tightening in your chest, or simply being out of breath, or even feeling like suffocation. This symptom can last much longer with COVID-19 and can be very severe. Definitely stay home. Fatigue sometimes feels similar to shortness of breath. It can be severe enough to leave you unable to leave bed. Might as well binge a show or try out a new game. Having a sore throat is less common with COVID-19. It is possible to have this with the virus, but other symptoms may be more common and severe. A study conducted in China reported that 14% of 550,000 confirmed cases experienced sore throats. Runny noses, watery eyes, and coughs are all very common with respiratory infections and make up some of the most common symptoms of COVID-19. Since these are symptoms of many different sicknesses, it can be difficult to tell if you do or don't have COVID-19. It would be best to stay home. Nausea, another way your body tries to get rid of germs. I'm sure we all know what nausea is, so I won't spend too much time on it. It's not fun. Please stay home. Also called anosmia, the loss of taste or smell can happen with many respiratory infections, but is very commonly associated with COVID-19, especially in the early stages. The loss of your taste sounds like it would be horrible, so make sure to wear a mask. A lot of cases of COVID-19 have been reported with obscure and unusual symptoms. COVID-19 can also leave permanent damage, which is less typical of other infections. Here are some less common symptoms of COVID-19. Muscle pain is a symptom of COVID-19 where one's muscles feel weak or painful, even if they aren't being used. Muscle pain is relatively rare and can vary in severity. Have you ever suddenly not understood where you were or the people around you? Does your memory seem weak to the point that you can hardly remember minor things? Hopefully not, because these are all described as delirium, and it has been reported as a symptom of COVID-19, mostly in older cases, however. 
COVID-19 has caused a slew of eye problems in some severe cases. Enlarged blood vessels, excessive watering, and swollen eyelids are all problems that have arisen. Remember the 2020 vision meme from last year? It's kind of like a twisted version of that. Possibly also caused by sitting still too much during lockdown, skin rashes have been reported along with COVID-19. They can appear as painful lesions on toes and fingers and usually last around 12 days. Someone started calling the symptom COVID toes. I'll let you decide how to feel about that. But if you do have symptoms, this presentation has been building up to a very important statement that you might have noticed sprinkled into the slides. If you have any symptoms, please stay home. Do your homework, play some video games, sleep all day, just stay home. While they may not seem like the same thing, there's a key difference between staying home and self-isolation, whether or not you have COVID-19. If you are feeling ill or have a high fever, you may not have COVID-19, but are still required to stay home. However, if you have been diagnosed with COVID-19 or believe you may have COVID-19 due to symptoms and feeling really ill, you should stay home and self-isolate. But what does self-isolation look like? Well, it generally lasts at least 10 days. During this time, keep contact with people who aren't ill to as low as you can. If you do have COVID-19, you don't want to spread it. Self-isolation can end once your fever has been over for more than 24 hours without using fever suppressants and other symptoms have improved. To summarize all of this, the symptoms of COVID-19 include general respiratory symptoms like coughing and fevers to more unique symptoms like loss of taste and smell and nausea. If you are feeling sick at all, whether or not you believe you have COVID-19, you should absolutely stay home. If you are diagnosed with or believe you have COVID-19, you should self-isolate. Self-isolation typically lasts at least 10 days, but can only officially end when your fever has ended and your symptoms are going away. Hybrid learning is by no means going to be fun. It's probably going to be a bit messy and it will definitely take some time to adjust to, but if we all play our cards right, we can be back in school on a regular schedule soon. Stay safe, Pooter.